Today I'm going to talk about HD DVD. Now if you're wondering what the hell that stands for, I'll tell you. HD stands for High Definition DVD. Kind of like with your uh, HD TV. Anyway, I'm going to show you some of my HD DVD movies. As you can see, I, I don't have many HD DVD movies. You want to know why? Because they are so damn expensive. That's why I can go over there and buy me a regular DVD. Let's see if I can show you here. Okay, you see this DVD right here? The Mad? Okay, this movie only costs $10 brand new, right? But if you go over here and say you were to buy the HD version, it would cost you about $35 new to $40 new. That's pretty high for a movie. But I will have to say, the quality is very, very good on the HD DVD. Now this is right here, this is Hot Fuzz. You gotta see this movie, a very funny movie from the people that made uh, Shaun of the Dead. You also got a regular DVD on the other side. So you got a HD DVD and a regular DVD. So that's a very good one. Can't get it out. There we go. King Kong. Very good looking HD DVD. Uh, it came with my HD DVD player. Very good looking. Oh, the Hitcher. This is a very good remake. I liked it. You also got the HD DVD and the regular DVD on the other side. A very good movie. Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket. Now this is one HD DVD I have to say. It does not look that amazing. I'm sorry but it doesn't. I own this movie on a regular DVD. I believe it's a, over there in my window somewhere. But uh, it looks pretty much the same as a regular DVD, except it's got HD DVD stuck on the top. I don't really see a huge difference in picture quality. And you got a uh, House of Wax here on a uh, HD DVD. Another very good looking DVD. Very good. Uh, if you're wondering, if you want to play your HD DVDs, you're going to need your HD DVD player. I believe they've lowered the price now, but when I got it, it was $200. I also use it as a DVD player, and also play uh, regular DVDs. So, when I have a 360, as you know right now, my 360, it's been shipped off to Texas for the seventh time. Hopefully this next one will work. Anyway, in order to make this thing work right here, you have to have a 360. What you do is you... You plug it in, USB, if I can find the cord. All those damn cords down there, there we go. You plug that in the back of your 360 back there. And then uh, connects off your 360 and there you got your uh, HD DVD player running off your 360. It's a very good product, I'd say. I haven't had one problem with the HD DVD player. I give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, easy to use. I like using the... Uh, the controller for your 360. I like using this better than uh, the actual remote thing right here. I mean, it's a nice design, but uh, I don't know. I just don't like it. it. It's too slow. When I'm sitting there with the DVD on, it's just slow. So I, I use my controller here. I think it's a very good controller for watching movies with a lot better than a, a regular DVD remote, I'd say. Well, they're about the same, but uh, maybe it's just more fun to use a controller to watch a DVD. Maybe that's just what I think. <laughs> but uh, definitely uh, try the HD DVD player if you want to get some uh, nice looking HD movies on your TV here. Uh, you can do, uh, what's it called? Oh, what's it called? You can do... 480p, 720p, and 1080i. You can't do 1080p over component cables. At least I don't think you can. Well, I can on my TV. For some reason, I can with video games, though. Like, if I play a 360 video game and put it on my uh, TV, I can do a 1080p. 
but if I watch uh, DVD movies and uh, HD DVDs, I can only go up to 1080i. So I think they have something to do with component cables. I really don't know, but HD DVDs, they look very good. Definitely recommend it. Uh, like I said, I haven't had a problem with the 360 HD DVD. Damn, that's a mouthful. HD DVD player. Haven't had a problem with that at all. Uh, that's one thing I never had a problem with. As you know, I had a lot of problems with the system. But uh, definitely check out HD DVD player if you want to try out some of these uh, new HD DVD movies coming out. Like I said, though, they are expensive, a lot more expensive than regular DVDs. But uh, they look very clear, I'll say that, for the most part. This movie wasn't that clear, but all these other ones I own, they are very, very clear. Very clear. Well, thanks for watching this uh, HD DVD video. Hope you have a good day, and I'll see you on YouTube. I don't have Blu-ray, but I've seen it in action. It looks about the same as a HD DVD to me. I guess they're both good. Maybe I'll find out how good Blu-ray is once I get a PlayStation 3 one day. We'll see. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, you have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.